Coventry United TV highlights are proudly sponsored by Coventry Wedding Cars. Make your special day perfect with luxury transport and a friendly professional driving service at an affordable price. For more information, phone 07968 199 483 or visit www.coventryweddingcars.com. Coventry United ladies are unbeaten, in form and in the mood for another three points as they play host to C and K Basildon ladies at a rather windy and gloomy communications park in Daventry. It's been a season of transition so far for CNK Basildon after a third place finish in the old Women's Premier League Southern Division last year. Established players have moved on and younger players have taken their place and need time to bed in. So it's been a slightly slow start for the visitors so far but for the Red and Green girls they were top until Watford won midweek to overtake them. But the Red and Green girls look to return to the summit in the FA Women's National League Southern Premier Division this afternoon, but they'll have to get past Battledon to do it. It's live coverage of Coventry United Ladies versus C and K Battledon Ladies with CUTV and Liam Cook. Gauntlet and McDonald waiting outside the penalty area. Plenty of options in the box. It's Hughes in towards Tash Merritt, headed by Merritt and the goalkeeper claims it just before Amy Wathen could divert the loose ball into the battle to net. Austin. Six laces through that one. Jeffrey's the intended target. May not find her. Moore's clearance only as far as McDonnell. Wathen tracks back and finds Merritt. Now Jade Brook slots it into the penalty area. It's Amber Hughes. Can she get the shot away? Yes, she can. And despite the goalkeeper's best efforts, Amber Hughes opens the scoring. A delightful through ball from Jade Brook with a finish. Was pure class from Amber Hughes. Hines got her hands to it. But she couldn't divert it away from the net. And Coventry United ladies lead by one goal to nil. Amber Hughes with the opening goal. By Rhodes, volleyed into the air by Austin, nodded down by McDonald. Now Maz Gordon, space on the right hand side for Amber Hughes. Neat roll past the Hughes. Hughes going down the centre of the park, lobs it to the left. McDonald should get there, she does get there. Crossing opportunity with Wavin in the penalty area. And Jade Brook in the far post of the crossbar, and Jade Brook is there. She checks that she's on side. She is indeed. And within three minutes of Amber Hughes giving Coventry United the lead, it's 2 0. And Hughes again at the very heart of the action, but it's Jade Brook, the beneficiary of that one. And the cross in from the left hand side by Rosie McDonnell, bouncing off the woodwork. Jade Brook at the far post to turn it home. Quick glance to the right to make sure the license flag wasn't up. But the red and green girls with a strong start, leading by two goals to nil. Brooks spots Hughes on the right. Hughes looks to inflict yet more damage on Basildon. Young's only leading by two goals to nil. Hughes is cross. Lois Jeffries with a great chance of the far pies but couldn't quite aim the header. Flicks off the forehead of Jeffries. An outstanding cross by Amber Hughes. They're trying to close down Basildon at every opportunity. And it's time through on goal. And that would have been a spectacular way to get Baslin back in it, but she lifts it just a little too much. Just sprinting clear of Austin. Despite Seward off her line, but it didn't quite dip enough. Poor throw intercepted easily by Amber Hughes. Gauntlet, and there's space on the left-hand side, plenty of space as you can find the perfect through ball to Rosie McDonnell, and again McDonnell rattles the crossbar, Wavin looking to make it free, and I think the shot was blocked. The defender fails to deal with it, makes contact with McDonnell with the challenge, McDonnell looks to dink it into the penalty area, keeper off the line, Amber Hughes shot blocked on the line by Gillard, in comes Maz Gauntlet, just out of reach of Amy Wellman and out of the reach of the goal as well, but Basildon somehow survived, with just two goals conceded so far. Brooke needs options, but she'll continue on her own. 
with only Deakin for company. Cross by Brooke and a point blank range header by Lois Jeffries heads wide. It's the second chance that Jeffries has had with that sort of cross in that sort of area. Well, Jeffries is certainly lethal with the right boots, but hasn't been able to divert the ball home with the head so far. Down the right hand side by Thomas. Katie Whitehead, covered up by Austin, gets the cross in towards Courtney Clark. McGlone up rather than out. Brought down by Miles and as far as Whitehead, Whitehead could get the shot away here. Whitehead does get the shot away and Basildon have found the back of the net. United couldn't get the ball clear. Whitehead closing down on Miles and sending the ball looping over Seward. And before the break, Basildon have hope. It's Coventry United 2, C&K Basildon 1. Austin, fantastic pass, lovely weighted. And the Hughes into Gauntlet, couldn't quite get the shot away. Jade Brook can! It's straight at Hines. The goalkeeper did well to get her hands up and stop it. It could have been Gauntlet's goal, but it fell to Brook in a more central location. Either side of Hines, the goalkeeper wouldn't have stood a chance. Gauntlet backs into Bayliss. A decent effort saved well the near post by Hines and Hines goes into Wavern but she had the ball in hand already. Hughes running at Clark, Clark slides in, gets something on the ball but can't keep it away from Amber Hughes who turns away from Clark, looks at Frank through for Amy Wavern, covered off well by Gillard but it's now with Jade Brook crossing opportunity for the Coventry United midfielder. Hughes in support, options in the penalty area and it's McDonnell on the line, it's just been stopped. Not the cleanest of contact at the far post from Rosie McDonnell. Gauntlet. So he finds Clark, Bayliss, lofted ball into the area. One on one, the sudden shoot could make it all square, but it's blasted over the net by Holly Turner. A golden opportunity for Basildon to make it to all and complete the comeback. But Turner couldn't hit the target. As Turner comes away with it, not for long, challenged by McDonnell. Gauntlet rolls it into the centre circle and now Jade Brook can get some distance. Gauntlet again, maybe starts up for the shot, in fact dings it into the area for Jade Brook over the goalkeeper! Oh it's stunning! And what a surprise, Jade Brook is at the heart of it. Fantastic interplay there between Brook and Gauntlet. And closing in on the net, Brook Hales just loft the ball over the head of Chelsea Hines. You don't give Formula a chance like that and get away with it. Coventry United have their two goal advantage back. It's Coventry United Ladies 3, C and K, Basildon Ladies 1. Brook. McDonnell. Still going McDonnell into the penalty area, crossing towards Amy Wavin, couldn't quite divert it home. As it flies past the former Oval striker. The slightest of touches would surely have sent it in for a fourth Coventry United goal. Brooke wants a run. Jeffries and McDonald both going for it. Jeffries has got there, but Jeffries is offside just as she lofts it over the goalkeeper. That was a lovely strike by Lois Jeffries, but the flag was raised a good three seconds before Jeffries found the back of the net. Gauntlet sees space on the right for Hughes to run into. It's Amber Hughes slided in. Amy Wavern, the perfect way to close off a fantastic display from the red and green girls stroked into the far bottom corner by Amy Wathen from the cross point by Amber Hughes and the red and green girls seal a, in the end it's a rather comfortable three points didn't look that way for a while the Jay Bradford's girls have got the job done it's Coventry United ladies four CK Basildon ladies one. McDonald. Jeffries. That is past Hughes to Jade Brook. Hughes 
Back to Brooke. Lovely give and go football in towards Webben. Jeffries has it crossed. No, it hasn't. And Amber Hughes skies it. Well, some members of the Red and Green Army believe that ball had crossed. Unfortunately, we haven't got the uh, funds with VAR here at Coventry United TV. That's something we've got to look into. <laughs> Brooks cross. Towards the left-hand side, McDonald will put it back in. Jeffrey takes a touch, can she turn and shoot? She'll lay it off, it's Amber Hughes. Goes to the ground, the penalty area. Looks like she ran into the number three. But Coventry United have got it done. The final whistle blows and the red and green girls remain unbent, unbroken and unbeaten. Basildon gave it a good go in the closing minutes of the first half and the opening minutes of the second half and ultimately Jay Bradford's side proved just too strong for a Basildon side improving all the time. They've got tons of potential this young team but today they just weren't up to the task, a very big task and that task name is Coventry United Ladies. The final score here at Communications Park in Daventry in the FA Women's National League Southern Premier Division Coventry United Ladies 4, CNK Basildon Ladies 1.